Alrighty then, is it recording? Yes it is. What is up everybody? It is your boy Vanitas XXX. I mean Vanitas Gaming here. I still get confused with my own name guys. It's so terrible. But yeah, today I'm gonna be reacting to Stickman and Benny and the Ink Machine chapter 1 through 4 animations. I have watched these. These are hilarious. And all credit goes to the creator who made this and all that cool stuff. So without further ado, let's watch the video. And before we start this video, make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn those notifications on by tapping that bell to get notifications when I do a new video and all that cool stuff. And if you want, share the video, guys. This is going to be my second reacting video. Let's see how it goes. I always did wonder that. Like, they don't make it accessible until you go searching for the items. But before that, it's locked. Like, was someone in there? That's something that they never explained. If there was someone in there, who was in there? Because, legit, legit though, think about it. It's locked first, lights are on, all that, and then you go walking by it, and the lights shut off. And then you open it, and nobody's in there. Why is that? <clears throat> oh, the ink machine. You found it. Of course, this is the, like, old map of the ink machine. Yeah, I'd go the other way, too. <laughs> I'd be all like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's now accessible. These pipes that flow from the ink machine. I'd say no. I'll probably just pass on getting that wrench. That was always a mystery too. You never really set them on the pedestal. They just floated before. <laughs> Not even gonna take a chance with it. Just gonna burn it. <laughs> Okay, I remember when I first played the game, and that part did always scare me. Like, <laughs> it was just out of nowhere a jump scare, and I'm like, holy moly, no. And I always did wonder, why did the room get boarded up? Like, did he board it himself, or what? Like, what? How does that make any sense? And they pointed it out too. <laughs> it's like, nope, goodbye. Yes, I have done a glitch past that before too. To try and open that door, and it didn't work. And yes, I agree with like just doing the axe. <laughs> In fact, now that I thought about it, 
What if it was all a trap? A never-ending loop? Where he finishes it, goes to see he Joey Drew, <clears throat> and then Joey Drew sends him on the same trap again, and then right at that point, he gets seen, shown all sorts of images, and falls asleep. Maybe that's how he first became trapped. Because once he showed Bendy the reel in chapter 5, he could, it could have like put him back like no, no time has gone by. Nothing has happened. He just like wakes up in Joey Drew's place. <clears throat> and then goes to him again. And Joey Drew just keeps on sending him on the same thing over and over. Or he like goes back in time type way. And Joey Drew sends him into the thing over and over. But right at that point in time, that's showing him that he got tricked. <laughs> I'm so happy, so happy that lucky me. I just go my way, living. <laughs> he just ate the whole can. <laughs> I like that animation effect they did. <laughs> you also missed a bunch of bacon soup. They never really explained that part either, guys. Not gonna lie. Like, was someone actually getting hurt whenever we played the keyboards, or what? Because there would always be a guy groaning after it. Like, what? Perplexus. Over 17 feet oh of track gosh, and we 100 don't need obstacles. You, you stupid like ass. tightrope. Yeah, literally. The guy just he groaned ow. I don't see why we couldn't have done any of those. We could have literally went over the thing or just smash it with an axe. That's very old. Blech. If it expired then, then that's not good. <laughs> Two thousand years later. He's like, nope, screw it. <clears throat> but I don't understand why we needed to play all that just to open a door. <clears throat> oh yes. <laughs> he just gets slapped in the back of the head. That's funny. He just gets slapped in the back of the head and he's knocked out. There we go now, nice and tight. We wouldn't want our sheep roaming away now, would we? 
No, we wouldn't. He fell asleep again. <laughs> Listen, I can hear him crawling above. Crawling. crawling. Let us begin. The ritual must be. And Sammy does come back to life. Like, he doesn't ever die. If any of you wanted to hear that spoiler. Just use the head of the axe. Don't don't worry about it. He's gone. That'd be me too, guys. That would honestly be me. I'd be like, nope. Bye. soup in that toilet that's disgusting that looked like radiation holy crap <laughs> nope. <coughs> okay. Yeah, it kind of freak out too. I'd be like, whoa, holy crap. thousand years later. <laughs> I like that little black blob thing. Not gonna lie. And it stopped on the ink machine, of course. <laughs> and then you just wake up to that. Um, this ain't good. Which one? Which one? No choosing Angel now. <laughs> Yeah. 
St. Jude gives you hope in humanity. Okay, advertisement. We don't need were, that um, on my YouTube channel. A day with an angel? Ooh, yeah! wants him to take the lead. Um Okay. Oh. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Look around. It took so many of them to make me so beautiful. Anything less than perfect was left behind. <laughs> I'd be bored Turn by now then and be all like, I'm just smack this barrel. Okay. I'm out of here. <laughs> My machines are hungry. Gather me some spare parts. There are so few. Yeah, I'd be all like, One rule we all know and respect down here. Beware of the ink demon. Come on, Boris. Nope. <laughs> He'll follow you everywhere, but not there, it seems. Me too. I just take the gear and just smack him. That would so be me. 100%. I'd be like, I'm not screwing with this. This dude, just give me the gear and get out of here. A plunger for that. Yeah, I wonder how he couldn't see that shaking and just open the door and get us. Don't 
care about you, advertisement. Thousand <laughs> I don't know why we couldn't have done that either. Like, seriously, we'd be so well blended in. I'm in love with my ink machine. I'm in love with my ink machine. Let's remove them, shall An axe. Oh yeah. <sighs> now that was fun. Oh, but I forgot to mention. He hates it when I do that. I would hide if I were you. <laughs> gun everywhere. Always but yeah, if you didn't notice, he actually did the little trick where he did the ink machine as it so that you can like grab the gun when you go down the demon path and all that in this chapter. But the Meadly Games, I think, disabled it so that you can't get the gun at all. So uh, yeah, fun. Left. It's time to go home. Time to go home. Yay. <laughs> Nothing weird about that at all. <laughs> I'm in this. I love the animations, it's just like... Perplexus. Oh my Over gosh, 17 feet of track ad. and 100 obstacles. Like tight... Just runs off like... That's how they run off. Love it.
perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> did wonder that. Why would that turn on a light? Or help open a door? Very strange. <laughs> yep, I'd be flipping out too. I'd be all like, HOLY CRAP! HOLY CRAP! WHAT IS GOING ON? For them to bring out chapter 5. I want 100% in. Yeah. Um, oops. But yeah, I'm waiting for them to bring out chapter 5 of this. Doing chapter 5 with the stick man. I can think of so many funny things that they'd pro probably do. Not gonna lie. This always looked cool. Ripping a pimple or zit that's like made of ink off it. That's gotta hurt. Again? Ow! It hurts even me thinking it. Wait. Oh yeah, there was a gear at that part. How come we couldn't pick it up? Should have let us to pick it up. Of course, it's locked. And those people are gone. Um. Okay. You just now realize that? Yeah. I'd feel stupid after that, too. I'd be all like, seriously. You're kidding me, right? Yep, that can wait. Would you describe the face you saw? Would I be one dragon? Okay, I'll stop, guys. Two thousand <laughs> years later. After seeing that, I'd I'd rather go home after seeing that. I'll find another way. What is it that keeps you? I'll defy gravity and walk up the hunt? Or perhaps you were just looking for Or just like fly up and out of that building. Better hurry, errand boy. Boris is having trouble staying in one piece. Let's you psycho! I just want to go home. When do we go home? When do we go home? Oh no! I'm sure they all want to. I'm sure he even wants to go home. Um. I remember that part in the chapter. It didn't look too. It actually looked very scary. And I'd honestly be doing that too. I'd be all like. Ready, set, run! Yep. Yep. Hi. 
I'm sure Boris doesn't mind waiting for his rescue party. Oh yeah, I so got this. I got this. <laughs> Just take that gun to do the rest of the boss fights. Hit a single target. Neat. Guys didn't see. Oh, whoops. Dang it. All right, then back up. If you guys didn't see, he died by the bacon soup. <laughs> it was too old and too outdated. That's when I'd be all like, I don't want to go to Disneyland again. And who knows if that could happen. <laughs> Ow! Okay. Why couldn't we have just done that from the beginning? <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Shut 
That's when you'd be like, okay, what just happened? I need to sit down and figure out what just happened. But yeah, that's the point in time when you just sit down in the little miracle and just be like, Okay, I need to take a breather on what the heck just happened. So, he ripped off the projectionist's head. Okay. And then, he killed the projectionist, basically, and saved me. And he almost found me and probably would have done the same to me. Okay, so that's where I ask. Holy crap. That's where I say holy crap. Yeah. It's a how so much can fall apart so fast. We need to really have control of the studio. Either you were in someone's pocket, Boom. or you were putting someone into yours. He's just it's looking at it so intensely, like. Surely you can understand that. You just enjoy the terror of the drop into hell. Because if that's the case, hang on tight. I've got a surprise. Huh. Neat. and celebrity musician explore the beautiful game across the globe. Welcome to Finding Football. Yes, the bone. Here, take the bone. Okay, no, no. played chapter 5, we all know that this is actually the Boris that we once knew and loved. The other Boris that's going to pop up is basically Tom, another person completely. And there's two Alice's, but we all thought there was going to be two Bendy's, but there wasn't. Or... What it could be, is that Henry, Henry, could have been the good Bendy. You guys ever thought of that? Because, think about it like this. He's able to survive from falls, all that stuff, like a cartoon character. So what if he was the good Bendy, and the evil Bendy was the only one that they'd show, and whatnot? Hmm? Cause think, Bendy was Henry's character. And basically Susie and, uh, Alice Campbell both became Alice's. 
and Tom and the other guy, I forget, became Boris's. Makes sense, right? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Don't just stand there watching that. Okay. Rip. Yeah, um, basically, yeah, let's just say I know about this too, I've seen the guy hack Benny and the ink machine, that's literally what happens, Boris just pops up out of nowhere, like, he literally, like literally, it's not even like that like he literally goes to see how Alice and Boris pop out of nowhere like where did they come from basically they both popped up out of nowhere just like So yeah, I guess that's the video, guys. Uh, I think that says Jay-Z Boy. But yeah, he might be the one who made it. He might not be. He might be a person that just put everything together. Who knows? But without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry about some spoilers. If you didn't want to hear the spoilers, sorry. But I can't wait for them to do a Stickman versus Benny and the Ink Machine Chapter 5, guys. Because I bet you it's going to be really awesome. And, uh, yeah, all these usual stuff will be down below on my Discord. The Discord to my Raid Life Minecraft server. <sighs> Hold on a second. There we are. And most of all, via versions updated, guys. So that means that you can join from 1.12 to 1.13.2, guys. But the only problem is everything looks weird in 1.13 for one. And number two, if you, like, get, per se, a trident or try and craft one, it'll just turn into a stone block. Yeah. Anything that's like 1.12.2 and up, like new items like their tridents, sea pickles, and whatnot, if you get them, they just turn into stone blocks. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully the next update, they might make it so that all those are accessible, so that you guys can craft them on my server, and all that awesome stuff. Really do kind of hope so, because then I could like put some tridents up and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, uh, anything else, anything else? Don't think so. Without the further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a great day. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, make sure to show the creator some support, tell him that it was good, like, I do like it. And I'm sure he liked it as well, of what he created. <laughs> or he's probably sick of it, because he's probably seen it one too many times while he was creating it. But anywho, without further ado, make sure to also turn on notifications by tapping that bell. And share this video if you can. And if you're not new to the channel, still do the same thing, guys. And also, just basically join my Raid Life Discord, because if my... YouTube Discord ain't down below. Ugh. Sorry about that. If my YouTube Discord ain't down below, then yeah. Just uh, go to my Raid Life Discord. My YouTube Discord will be in there. You guys can join it. And my YouTube Discord will also be posting when I make a new video for you guys. But, anywho, you're awesome. I'm awesome. 
Everybody touch them! Double it! Ah, my voice just cracked there. Let me try that again, guys. You're awesome! I'm awesome! Everybody's awesome! Don't let anyone tell you different! And I'll see you guys next time! Peace!